What's up everybody? Grandmaster Mario here and we are finally doing the final chapter of Harry Potter for well in a video game series. Um, I don't think this is the final chapter for us of our Harry Potter journey because I'll probably be doing if I ever get that GameCube controller I'll be I will be doing Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire for the GameCube to finish it off if I ever get that GameCube controller and possibly Harry Potter 1, 2, and 3 for the GameCube possibly but I've already done it for the DVD the games but they weren't very long so if I ever get that GameCube controller I may do Harry Potter 1, 2, and 3 as well I'm definitely going to do Harry Potter 4 if I ever get that GameCube controller because in order to finish all the do a let's play of all the Harry Potter games I obviously need to uh, I obviously need to finish Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire as well as this we're gonna do it on normal mode I suck at advanced mode and I can't do it on expert mode when I beat this game, I was so excited to get it. Like, I'd beaten all the Harry Potter games. So my goal was to beat all the Harry Potter games. I'm going to skip through this. My goal was to beat all the Harry Potter games. I thought it was going to take, like, forever to beat this game. But... I got it on July 31st, 2011. And beat it and beat it by August 2nd of 2011. And I thought, okay, so I finished all the games now already. Wow, that was quick. Now what? <laughs> I guess speed runs, which I do sometimes do on my own time, and Let's Plays. And I'm finally doing the Let's Plays. And I'll just beat it again and again and again and again. So even though I've uh, I've watched all the Harry Potter movies, played and beat all the Harry Potter games, and read all the Harry Potter books, it's not. It's still not over. Probably never will be, unless if I get bored of Harry Potter, which eventually I probably will. Nothing is forever. Probably won't have happened for a long time, but trust me, it will happen. Harry, we need to get past those guards. If we want to get deeper into Green Gods, we'll have to go this way. I can't believe there are guards here already. What's wrong with this door? It looks like some sort of locking shop. Don't worry, I'll take care of it. Aloha Mora! In this video will be a long one. It will be about 55 minutes. We are going to skip past the, um... The intros. I know what I probably know what you're thinking, like, oh you should do the intros. Probably not many people are thinking that, but some people are. I don't know what's the point of hiding. And I've done speed runs of every single Harry Potter game. 
And yes, I did do a video earlier of psychology. Um, the last video game I did on my channel, it was Mario 64. And I finished that for you because I love that game. It's probably my fa it's my favorite Mario game besides the Mario Karts and the Super Smash Brothers. Some would argue that that that's not that Some Super Smash can. Brothers is not a Mario game. If it's not a Mario game, it is for me because I only I only ever really use Mario in that game. I don't I barely use anybody else. Although I have beat it with every character. <laughs> I know my ramble a lot. You always work it. The dragon. Look out, Harry! You can't get past them! See if you can get closer to me. Yeah. Use potato or we'll be here all day. Potato! I am good at this game, but I'm not like a world record. I'm not like a, I can't beat the, like the world record or anything. I'm good enough to beat the game. Let's just say that. Probably not a hundred percent, but I don't know. I guess I'm good enough. Unstable bridge. Sorry, mate. Honestly, Ron. It's no use, Harry. We'll go on ahead. See if you can find another way down. Hermione. Hermione. Stupefy. So I got this game exactly on my 19th birthday. July 31st, and as I said before, yes, my birthday is the same day as J.K. Rowling's. And my mom's actually a year younger than my, than J.K. Rowling, and my dad is one year older. My dad's one year older than J.K. Rowling, and my mom's one year younger than J.K. Rowling. So I guess that's kind of a coincidence. And that was my 19th birthday, and yes, I went, went out for an alcohol beverage on my 19th birthday. I think it was just simply a beer that I drank. A different kind, but whatever. And no, I don't drink. I don't drink very often at all. Maybe a, maybe a few beers every few months.
I don't really drink, I don't do drugs that are not prescribed to me, and I don't, and I don't overtake drugs, and I don't smoke either. Man, this is hard. It's hard on your fingers and hands sometimes. I don't usually die in World 1. It's, I don't usually die in the first chapter. It's usually pretty easy. I'm not really good at this game like I am at the other Harry Potters. I'm way better at... Uh, Deathly Hallows Part 1 and Number 6. Number five and number four and number three. Number two and number no number one, not really. Quidditch, I'm way too good at Quidditch. It's too easy. Although I don't even play on the highest level in Quidditch. So if you want, so any of you out there who plays Harry Potter in the Quidditch World Cup and if you find it way too easy, you should do it on a much higher level. And they have higher levels in the game. If that's still too easy, then well, I don't know what to tell you. It's just too easy for you, I guess, and maybe you shouldn't play that game then. Because there's like two... There's a uh, Comet 260 level, which is the level that I play on, which is way too easy. And then there's Nimbus 2000, which is harder, 2001, which is much harder, and then there's Fireball. I've tried the other levels, they're pretty easy, but... Boom. Let's get past that. We are done with level one. That was a little quick. So this is Harry Potter game number seven for me. So there's only one more to complete after this. And then I'm done doing a let's play of all the Harry Potters. And that would be Harry Potter, Goblet of Fire. And I do other games too, like Mario and stuff like that. This is game number 22 for me. So 15 games besides Harry Potter so far that I've done. And then I also, of course, do psychology and competitive eating. My main focus anyways for 
my main focus is for these videos are video games and psychology. Competitive eating I just do once in a blue moon. I just do competitive eating for fun. And I'm a very successful competitive eater. Although I'm better, although I'm more than, competitive eating is the thing that I'm probably more, most successful in out of the three, but out of, out of the three, it's the thing I'm not as good at. I think I'm better at video games and, uh, psychology. A butter beer. I wonder how butter beer tastes. It's probably it's probably really really sweet. It's probably really really sweet. And my last video, by the way, talking about sweet. My last video I did before today was sweetened Coca-Cola challenge. And if you've seen it, don't do it. It's not healthy, it's not good for you, it's very, very difficult. It's disgusting. I just do competitive eating for fun. My recommendation is don't do it. It's very, very hard. Sit like six can mini cans of Coca Cola. That's. I just do it for entertainment purposes. The reason why I started competitive eating is because I heard about it and then thought um, I should put these um, I should put my eating habits to good use and use that as an advantage for competitive eating. So I did and I, was, I guess I was a little successful in that. But I don't do it nearly as much as I used to. Going at this pace, I'll probably only get like three, maybe four levels done in this video. Bam. There are just too many places to be in the heart. Look 
Yeah, I won't get five levels done. The fifth level is way too hard. Way too long. So, the fifth level and whatever is for another day. I find the sixth level is usually really hard. And I don't usually die until the sixth level. That's the giants. And yes, I guess I'm the only person person so far on YouTube who's uh who's beaten all five uh of the side challenges in Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part One in one single video. Uh I don't know if that's that's the truth. I don't know if I don't I don't know if anybody's ever completed all five of the challenges in one video before. But I've never I just never seen anybody on YouTube complete complete all five of the challenges in Deathly Hallows Part One. It's not very hard to do. I guess just nobody Everybody thought it was just, I don't know, useless to do them, I guess. Judging by how good uh, some people are at the game, the main game itself, they probably could do it, they probably could beat all five challenges without breaking a sweat. Do you think Hogwarts is safe? I really hope so, but I just don't know. And yes, I got all five stars on every, on all five challenges. This gate is locked. You'll need to protect me while I try to unlock it. Fly You're right, my nerd. Come on. Not too much longer. That's it. Holy crap. I used to have a lot of trouble with the fourth level. But usually I don't anymore. Come on! Hit him! Trying to blink something out of my eye. Don't let your guard down. I know that rubbing my eye can actually make it worse. I'm trying to blink it out. I was uh, job hunting today at, uh, I went to go see if I can, like, sent in an application and 
um, references and uh, resumes into skip past this uh, resumes and references into no for all is fresh go and food basics yeah and jo so I'm job hunting kind of need the money to get around so I'm on ODSP right now and it's hard to hard to get around with just that I need a job for a low extra money so. I would be good at stocking shelves and stuff And this is the third level right here. We just finished the second and we're going to finish the third very soon. Oh yeah, and we still got to get past Snape too. It's McGonagall that has to do that. I think I don't even need McGonagall really. I think I can just get past Snape myself. Yeah, and I remember, I remember Harry Potter and the Order of, when I did Harry Potter and the Order of Phoenix, uh, uh, there was also something in my eye too, I almost had to, uh, I almost had to, like, close out the video because it was so, getting so bad. I don't know if it's like dirt in my eye or what. And I'm doing these Harry Potter games pretty quickly. I only started this channel like not even three months ago and I'm already and I'm basically already to my last Harry Potter game. I was just I guess I was just very eager to finish all the Harry Potter games and show show you guys the progress. I think in the end, the reason why Harry Potter won um, is because, really, in my personal opinion, he was smarter than Voldemort in some way. Because he figured out how to, um, he figured out the uh, ways of the wand, ways of the Elder Wand and how it worked and everything like that. And he figured out the Deathly Hallows. He figured out, he figured out the uh, wand. What's that? The castle is being attacked. He figured out hurry. how it was done in the Elder Wand and stuff. Voldemort couldn't even see that. Oh, 
So you're like, I had a lot more mind power about it too. There's a couple of other theories uh, that I have over Harry Potter that will be probably said in another in another video. Let's get the bank and get back to the bus. I might have time to do the fifth. I'm okay. Thanks. You better watch out. These passageways are really old. He's afraid of spiders. I'm not really I'm not really afraid of spiders. I think if I saw like, I don't know, a scorpion in my house, which will probably never happen. Judging by where I'm from, um, I think if I saw a scorpion or a giant centipede in my house, I'd probably freak the freak the hell out. Because I am sort of scared of scorpions and centipedes. About time, That's holy. It. Finally. Well done, Ron. Thanks. The sooner we get the backwards bang, the better. Mighty? Where are you? These must be long lost relatives of Aragon. No, Ron, they're spiders. Not acromantula. Oh yeah, an easier way to kill these things are, um, Over there. are, uh, use Bertago. Feel free to start casting any time you like, Hermione. Now would be good. Yeah, I still have the, whatever in my eyes. In my left eye. My lazy one. It's in my lazy eye. Yes, I have a lazy eye and I'm picking up glasses on Thursday. Bye bye, Lee! Well, it certainly is down for something. Honestly, Mom, I can't see. Where? Oh, shoot. He's almost dead. I have to protect Ron here. Thankfully, if we do die, if either one of us die, we don't have to start this whole level all over again. He's almost dead. I'm not.
I like the sound this makes. Sounds like a fan. Just do your best. God. I don't know why the Bottega wasn't working. Come on, Ron. I'm doing my best. So close. And this door doesn't close. I don't think. Yeah, it does. Okay, we still have one more to go. I think one more door to go. Don't need me. I wish I could, honestly, I wish I could do this all in one video, but I just don't have enough video to do so. Uh, rawr. I probably will die a few times throughout this game. I don't know about now, but I haven't really had a perfect uh I haven't really had a perfect uh run in a video game except for Deathly Hallows Part One and Mario Sports Mix. Thank goodness that I know how to, that I know to cause Portago, otherwise it would be really screwed. We're done. We're about almost, we're about a third away from completing this game. No, we're not quite there, I don't think. Maybe a fourth. I've never got this far before. This is where Harry said Ginny and killed the bastards. And killed the memory of Tom Riddle. No. Oh, I thought. Do it, It's just running out of battery. Okay.
I think we're gonna, just gonna finish this level and we'll be done, I guess. Yeah, we're about a third of the way uh, from third of the way from beating this game, I guess. Approximately, approximately. Third, maybe only a fourth. I know what to do here. So let, let's try to finish this level and then well uh hopefully it saves right at the moment. Um I don't think we'll have time though. Honestly. Seamus Finnegan. trying to join Emmett as well as uh, me trying to get a job I'm also uh, trying to um, trying to uh, get into an MMA club so I can practice some mixed martial arts maybe I'll be in some competitions I wonder if I wonder if I'll do any good at comp MMA competitions I'll probably never, I'll never be a professional probably, but I think, I just, I don't know, I just have a feeling that I might do good in, in like a fighting type thing, type competition. I've just always been into fighting and stuff. Yeah. 